All right, welcome to the Getting Started tutorial. I would recommend that as you are going through this, uh, go ahead and just hit the pause button and work alongside me as uh, we continue on. So first off, if you haven't already done so, go up to the top and we're going to sign in to our teacher page. Once you have signed in, up at the top, it'll say sign out so make sure after you're finished editing that you click this button so that no one else can access your info but now what we are going to do is go to teachers and staff so go ahead and click that and that's going to lead you to a directory of all the staff uh, at your school find your name and click on your name in this case we're going to use a site called sample teacher once you click on your page, you notice that you have a template already there for you. It's, uh, you could go ahead and read through this at your, at your own leisure. But what we're going to do is we're going to change this up a little bit, customize it so that uh, it's personalized for you. So at the very top, go ahead and click on Site Manager. Once you get to the section Workspace, you'll notice right at the top we have a couple tabs. What we're going to be focused on today is the Manage Pages tabs. And as you scroll down, you'll notice that you see the pages. Uh, right here is the page name. Over here, this is the status of the page. Right now, this calendar page is active. And simply, if you do not want the public to see it, or your students or anything to see it, uh, you could just deselect this box here. And that will indicate that this page is no lo longer visible for the public if you're editing it or whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and click that back so it's active. But what we're going to be looking at is the home page. Notice to the right over here, it tells you what type of page it is. Um, for all the home pages, it, it, it has like a default. Uh, it'll give you the URL if you want to link it to something. And then also, if you don't want it to say home page, uh, it gives you the option to rename. So let's go ahead and click on this, and let's do some editing. Now, this is the editing element to your web page. Before we do anything else, I wanted to show you a very important button right here at the bottom the save button. After you do anything on your web page, we want to make sure that you click this button and then confirm so that all of the information that you have just put onto your web page is not lost. Very important button, do not forget before you do anything, save. Even when you think you already saved, save again. It's that important. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a sample, a really basic teacher page just like this where you only have to replace four things right here okay so if you wanted to do that then make sure you keep on watching here we go in order to get our web page to have that same format as the page that we saw up in the corner here a real basic model what we're gonna do is edit and view HTML mode now behind your web page there's a bunch of coding that goes along for everything even the text Okay, and this is where we're going to be working. But before we do that, let's go ahead and cancel this. In order to do this, we need to go to our home page. And once you sign in, this little training button is going to show up. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to go to the section where it says Getting Started and click on the link that says Basic Home Page. This is the picture of the basic home page. And there's some directions there. But what we're going to do is just copy oops, everything. Copy all of this text. And then we're going to go down to View HTML. We're going to select all of this and then delete it. And then paste that information in. And we'll click OK. And now our web page is changed. And then all we have to do is say, Mr. Billy Bob subjects algebra replace the red right here B -B, Billy Bob and then your extension and then click save Now when we go to view it, we can just click right here. And when we go to our teacher page, 
here we go. Teacher page is done. And there you have it.